Severe weather for the southern plains, a fire risk from South Carolina to Virginia, and also Tropical Storm Melissa updates. Good morning, I'm Mira Dispute, and it's October 23rd, 2025. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk or a 2 out of 5 for Texas and a marginal risk for stretching from New Mexico to Texas. And what this entails is there's going to be all hazard on the table, where there's a 2% chance of seeing an isolated risk for a tornado and a 5% chance of seeing an isolated risk of damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. But actually, the biggest risk today is to see large hail up to 2 inches in diameter. So from places like New Mexico to Texas, you guys are already seeing some showers probably this afternoon but we're gonna see some intensification of some storms around 3 p.m central time or that's 2 p.m mountain time and initially these storms are gonna be pretty isolated until about 8 to 9 p.m central time where places like texas oklahoma and even kansas are gonna see more scattered to clusters of storms and heavy rain and once these clusters form from texas to kansas it's pretty much gonna last throughout the night and into next morning as well and so because of this the weather prediction center did issue a marginal risk for flash flooding in these areas so why does all happen if we look at 500 millibars and maybe their troposphere we have these two troughs that we're looking at one in the northeast but also one in around the four corners area and looking at the trough at the four corners area we do see that we have a pocket of decent shear which is going to tilt those updrafts and prolong those storms that do develop but the biggest contributing factor of these two troughs is the surface pressure system that they're going to bring so for example when we look at a trough generally on the east side of the trough is going to be a surface low pressure and on the right side of a trough it's going to be a surface high pressure so with that in mind with the trough in the four corners area we're going to have a surface low pressure somewhere around colorado in the New Mexico area. And then for the other trough, we're going to have a high pressure somewhere around the Midwest. And so now going down to the surface with these pressure systems, remember that low pressures are counterclockwise flow, high pressures are clockwise flow. And with these two combined, they're going to be bringing a lot of southerly flow from the Gulf into the Texas, Oklahoma, and this general area. And on top of this, if we look at 850 millibars or a little bit above the surface, around the evening time and throughout the night, we're going to have an increase of this low level jet, which is going to be bringing in more southerly winds, more moisture into this area, which is why we're going to see a lot more convection during the night. Now back to that trough in the northeast, remember on the east side there's going to be a surface low pressure and we still have that somewhere around the northeast. And with that being counterclockwise flow, we're going to have a lot of westerly winds from Virginia to South Carolina. And with this counterclockwise flow, we're going to have a lot of westerly winds going on the lee side and down slope of the mountains from this area, which is why we're going to see a fire risk today. But there's also going to be some sustained winds from 10 to 15 miles per hour. And so with the sinking air and drying out a lot of moisture, we're going to see relative humidities below 30%. Now quickly talking about tropical storm melissa because unfortunately things are kind of escalating a little bit the national hurricane center is predicted that she's going to be a major hurricane pretty soon which is a category three or higher so places like jamaica are now having a tropical storm warning and melissa is still sitting between two mid-level high pressures which are having opposite flows which is why she's mostly stationary right now but it looks like the high pressure in the gulf is pursuing a little bit more eastward as with this trough that's coming from the four corners is being pushed into the gulf and this is going to make her stay into the caribbean a little bit longer